Hi guys, once again, we have a movie review. This time, Morbius the Living Vampire. When it came out this year. Just seen it. Whew. Me and my mom checked it out. So, Morbius is tight. Hot take. A lot of people don't like it. This movie was tight. This movie was tight. I like this movie. I like this movie, the effects, the story is pretty good as well, the age old story, you know what I'm saying, old, old time friend, turn enemy, that kind of thing, you know, turning on your brother, you know what I'm saying, that kind of thing, um, but yeah man, I enjoyed it, I enjoyed Morbius, I enjoyed it very much so, <laughs> but that end, that end crazy was kind of like, ah! I don't know about that crazy. It feels as good as ever that crazy. I was like, Ooh. um, but yeah, yeah let's go. Let's go. Um, spray this down. Spray this movie down. Yeah, I can't do the other. So, yeah. much too much to dissect in this movie. Um, this is a traditional, almost traditional vampire story. But um, but this is the more technological sense. So. You got Jared Leto's character, you got Jared Leto. Michael Morbius, you know, that kind of thing. It's the guy who's trying to find a cure for his, for his incurable disease and his friend's incurable disease. A guy called um, Lucius. Who he, called, who he named in a old um, hospital home uh, back in Greece 25 years ago where they jumped back to after they opened the credits with Morbius with his two crutches um, somewhere in Costa Rica somewhere and he <laughs> captures these bats while he cuts his hand and I'm like what the heck so this swarm of bats came out of nowhere and I don't know what happened happened to those guys but um, yeah that, that kind of just took a mad opening credit which I liked it was a mad opening scene I was like what the heck is going on your mom was like did those people die or what was going on I said like, I don't know <laughs> but yeah they captured these these bums these special bats from this this cave, and there was a, a swarm of these bats, um, and they capture them, and bring them back to where he lives, and he's working with a, a another scientist called Martin, and the girl from um, Dust or Dawn, the TV show. Yeah, she's she's a really good actor, by the way. Um, you everyone knows Lucius, Matt Smith. The Doctor, Last Night in Soho, come on, you know, this, this, guy, this guy's everywhere. Uh, new Game of Thrones TV show, yo. <laughs> it's about to be lit. Let's go. But, you know, Matt Swift's everywhere. Now, this guy's a household name at this point. He's everywhere. Um, but, yeah. He takes care of this um, uh, little girl, this little black girl. Um, she's ill. Um, he's ill. They, try to find, they use these bats to kind of mix human DNA together to try and find the cure because um, he wants to like try and save these people from these kind of problems that he's having because he, he, he feels I, I should be dead years ago so God's kept me alive for a purpose you know um, that kind of thing and him and Matt Smith they, they talk from time to time they go visit each other they have a day out and Matt's uh, Jared Little Morbius he has an idea and says, hey, it's going to be very expensive but I'm going to go to this part of the world, this part of this region and I'm going to get this stuff, yeah, so they go off on this, this special, this boat boat trip <laughs> for these mercenaries and he injects himself with this stuff he, 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 human trials, human trials because this, this rat that they worked on this, this um, rat that they worked on it, worked, it basically brought it back to life when it when it's supposed to be dead. So it works in a rat, so then he started doing human trials. I was like, no, yes, it's human trials. Let's get something over and done with. And that gets done. And he starts going crazy. He starts transforming. Oh, he starts doing these weird noises. And when the mercenaries comes in and sees uh, Martin and starts making them, they have an argument. Um, he starts going crazy. Jared Morbius breaks out 
attacks this guy, drains him of his blood. And just literally <laughs> wipes out this entire um, um this entire ship. This, this time. <laughs> and just, just kills him just little bloody just kills him just savagely. Cutting throats, um, biting faces. Break people's necks and doing all sorts, man. Especially the people against uh, steel bars and that he was going, he was going it. Um, cause literally they, they, cause they knocked Martin out one of the guards, one of the uh, mercenary guys froze Martin down, and that kind of triggers me even more. That's why I went he was saying. Um, and then that happens, he escapes, leaves Martin there to get found by the police because he knows what's gonna happen. Um, these cops, uh, Tyrese, <laughs> he's in this movie as well, Tyrese. I'm hungry, Mr. Tyrese himself, uh, playing a character called Simon Strand. Still Simon Stroud, I mean. Give me Strand. Simon, uh, and Agent Rodriguez. Al Madiga. Um, so he plays these two that kind of investigate throughout this movie. And they're, they're the resident cops in this movie at this point. They investigate um, all these uh, vampiric happenings. Notice all these holes, holes in people's necks, people getting drained and exsanguinated. As uh, Adrian Rodriguez says, and <laughs> oh, I almost forgot my boy Jared Harris. I forgot about my boy. I can't forget my boy. I'm probably gonna talk about it later, but I should have gone off the bat. So Morbius is mentor, yo. Uh, we know this guy, Expanse thing. Uh, he's everywhere, man. This guy's everywhere. This guy's a a legend out here in the UK. And uh, yeah, and around the world. So yeah, so he's literally he grew, grew up um, Morbius and Lucius at this um, place where the incurables live. And yeah, so he's grown up to this age. So um, yeah, let's get back to the uh, plot where I stopped at. So that these cops investigating these, these happenings, they question Martin. Martin's like, I don't know where the heck this guy is, I don't know what you're talking about, you know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. So she starts to do her own experiments still. And Borbius, he's figuring out his powers, uh, knows that this uh, synthetic blood that he has only works for a certain amount of time and he needs the real stuff at some point and artificial stuff is not gonna work at some point. So he knows he's gonna turn to a savage at some point. Um, meets it with Lucius. Lucius sees Morbius at his worst. He sees him like in a weakened state saying that he needs blood Lucius gives him blood and then Lucius kind of gets uh, banished by Morbius he's like yeah you know what I'm saying that kind of thing because he doesn't know what he's going to do because there was a nurse that worked with him for years and she's dead and Morbius thinks he did it because he doesn't know he doesn't remember himself doing it he's kind of thinking did I black out in a um, hunger, rage, they're doing for like a vampiric rage. What happened? I don't know what they got. The takeover was they're not in control. That happened. Um, but f as the movie progresses, Lucius has taken the serum. Yo. He's, taken, he's taken the vampire serum. This guy's got powers now. Lucius, because Lucius literally. Uh, Goes into jail because Morbius gets arrested at some point. He gives himself up. Um, and <laughs> a funny bit when in the cell when they were um, interrogating him. Adrian Rodriguez like, literally brought holy water. That was funny. Tyrus was like, seriously? <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. I like that little, that little nod there. I like that. Nod to the vampire lore, you know. Um, but yeah, um, Lucius has got powers now. He gives him a bag of blood to say, hey, let's go. Let's, let's go tear up this city, you know what I'm saying? Because Lucius out here just, just biting people on sight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's just out here just killing people on sight. He's like, hey, no one gonna see what I'm, hey, no one gonna see me. Gonna, hey, cause no one see me out here, homie. You know, Lucius out here. Swole at this point. So <laughs> he tries to get Morbius on side. Let's let's run run rampant. Let's tear apart this city. No one could stop us. That kind of thing. So yeah, Morbius is like now. I didn't want you to be like me, a monster. Lucius doesn't fully embrace the vampire role. He, he doesn't want to go back to what he used to be. So Morbius is trying to find a way to stop him. You know that kind. Of, you know where that goes. Yeah, in the in the movie realm, he has to stop his best friend 
from um, destroying the sea and potentially taking over the world. <laughs> that kind of thing. The way he was going, he wanted to take out everybody. Everybody's going to get this work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Lucius wasn't going to stop there, bro. I know for a fact you weren't going to stop, stop there in that scene. Everyone's going to get this work at some point. He's going to take over everywhere. So, and this guy was improving, like, evolving state, like, power by power. This guy was improving everything he was doing. It was getting better and better at like, being a vampire. Um, he was showing out. But Morbius is always, like, one step ahead of him, power-wise, evolution-wise. Because um, he was the original one who had the, the power. And he's obviously found a way to harness his abilities a little bit better than Lucius at this point. But, um, yeah. And Lucius um, does not like Martin getting in the way of him and Morbius being a partnership. You know what I'm saying? Like being a, a brotherhood taking on the world. You know, because Martin is his love interest, his Morbius' is love interest, and he don't, he's like, nah, man. Why is she there? Why? You know what I'm saying? Because they have a thing at some point. They, they have a kissing scene at one point, and Lucius is there watching them like, this guy. You son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he was like he betrayed him. He feels like, like a betrayal at this point. Um, so Lucius even goes to a bar. He's like, you know, yeah. He just even tries his hand out that he's like, okay, for sure, he's got, she got Martin. Let me go and try and get a girl for myself. He goes to this bar, he talks to this woman. It was going well. These two guys get in the way and they push him on the table. He's like, okay, for sure, I'm gonna wait for these guys outside. Wrecked him. Then we went back to see that girl again. So <laughs> he's done with his lovey dummy stuff. He don't care about no one but Morbius. So he wants to be, just be a king at this point. He's, no one can tell him what to do. He just wants to be a lost boy. So. If you got a reference, salute to you. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Lucius gets visited by um, his uh, mentor, his, uh, his teacher, his uh, carer, as it were, Jared Harris character. And he claps up Jared Harrison for a little bit he's like because oh, he, he always thought Morbius was your favourite I was just a burden you never liked me you know that kind of thing you never saw me as Morbius' as equal or even you know what I'm saying as even as a brother you never, you never saw me as nothing but a low down piece of trash that's what uh, Lucius um, thought Jared thought of him uh, Jared's like nah I never thought me like that no no <laughs> but uh, um, you got Jared's like, wait a second. If anything, you're my faithful. You took, I was lifting after you the whole time. I could just dumped you off somewhere. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, because of course of stuff that Morbius has achieved. You know what I'm saying? Being these, going to set him off to go these science, science stuff. You know what I'm saying? I was just the guy who had the money. Because uh, he had, he had money. This guy was rich. His family. He's, he obviously he's had a rich family, and the rich he had a, and he was an, obviously he was an heir to something. It looked like he was an heir, heir. You know. This guy had inheritance money. Um, so, because he was, because <laughs> he always thought to himself, he's like, okay, they don't see me as a, a flipping cash cow. They don't see me as anything. They don't see me as a human being. They only see dollar signs when they see me. So I kind of get where he's coming from in that respect, but this man's been taking care of you for years, bro. Come on, man. You gotta have more respect than that. Dude. And Morbius out here coming around and showing love, man, just like, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You grew up together, bro. Um, this guy virtually, like, <laughs> this guy virtually damn near almost grew up at this point. So, yeah, that's the kind of thing where he literally attacks, kills Jared Harris, kills him, kills him dead, slices his neck, slices his stomach, dead. And they have this great fight scene that when he just comes out of prison as well, Morbius, in the, the train station, which I love as well. That's a great fight scene. Like, da, 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 ba, 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 bounce off the walls and that as well. People sleeping on this movie. What's going on in this movie type? But um, yeah, fight scenes. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Lucius about to try and kill Morbius because Morbius is still weak at this point because it's in that prison the whole time. Um, not basically running on empty. And then he, f he finds the flight path for the train and just, just floats to escape, away, um, escape Lucius because Lucius was having him up. 
he was getting beat down. Um, but yeah, he Lucius goes to Martine, grabs her because he knows that will summon Morbius. So Morbius. Oh yes, so we find out Lucius been doing these killings and they were blaming it on Morbius because that's what Lucius' plan was to kind of draw him out. Um, because Morbius is literally in hiding at that point. So Lucius uh, basically killed that um, uh, Indian lady who was working with him all those years. It was him the whole time, so it wasn't really Morbius, it was him. Um, uh, Lucius confesses to him. But yeah, that happens and they have this uh, massive showdown. Uh, and this massive fight. Powers galore, they're jumping around the place, they're smashing each other in, in the ground, they're doing Dragon Ball Z battles right now, this is tight. This is some, this is some bleach battle, it's <laughs> bleach the real Dragon Ball Z or Road Door. It's just tight. Um, but yeah, pure game level fight scene. This is awesome, I love, I love the way they've done this, the way they composed these fight scenes, this is awesome. But um, yeah, <laughs> Morbis down and out, but he's like, you know what, yeah, let me summon these bats real quick. Bah, some of them, da, 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 da. just a sort of massive echolocation to the arrest of bats. Some of them held down Matt Smith, held down Lucius, hitting with the poison that he created with Martin, stopped him, uh, apparently killed him. And I was like, ah, oh, they killed him. I was like, ah, oh, man, they just killed their villains, bro. These people, why are these people dying out here? Why are people die? Yeah, um, but we'll see. We'll see. We he might not be dead. I don't know. We'll see at this point. But I don't know because I don't see how it's because I don't know if this movie has performed very well. I don't think it has, so I don't know if there's even gonna be a sequel. But the way they say I put this movie, um, oh yeah, oh yeah, yes, Martine is a vampire now, homie. This is it. In this movie, Martine become a vampire. She bit Morbius's lip, blood flew in her mouth, and he bit her. So yeah, that's it. We've got another vampire on deck, Martine. The Vampire Bride, you know what I'm saying? That's uh, Martin, you know, Martin Morbius running the street out here. Um, but then we see, in this movie, in the credits, we, we, we see Michael Keaton. You see the Vulture. When um, all this multiverse of madness stuff happened, like the multiverse, he cracks and he just teleports in this, up this cell. He's like, I hope we've got better food this time <laughs> in this joint. <laughs> that was nice. Like, but I was like, what the heck? I was like, okay, I was alright. And then there's another red credit scene where he, in full vulture armor, goes to see Jared Leto, see Morbius. He goes, we need to work together for the greater good. And he's like, interesting. And I was like, oh my God. I was, kind of, I was like, whoa. People are saying the Sinister Six, but I was like, I don't know. I don't know where they're going with this, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. Because I don't know how this how to say this, they're obviously setting something up in the universe, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I like this movie, it's a really good movie. I like I like this movie. I, hey, I like this movie. popcorn flick, nothing too hard to understand. You know exactly what was going. How oh, this is awesome. It's a good movie. Good movie. Good movie. Um, people gonna be like, sure, you're out your mind. Legend, you crazy. But, um, nah, I like this movie. Tell me your thing in the comment section down below. <laughs> Tell me you guys speak. I know you guys are gonna be on my head. This entire review is gonna be on my head. Like, say, what is this guy talking about, me? What you be? Uh, but yeah, I liked it, man. I, uh, liked it. The fam liked it. Hey, uh, come on, man. Come on. Give me a break, man. I love you with the family. Come on. I liked it. But, um, yeah. Twitter and Instagram, me to place you're gonna find me. If you donate to the channel, Legend Bowl 101 on Cash App, mobile app only so far. Uh, yes, hit me up if you want to do me on those other two platforms as well. I'm also on Twitter most of the time, anyways. Instagram, I'm really on it. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Press that notification bell, set it to all settings up in your inbox all day, every day. Yes, and yeah, so wherever you are, there are nights, stay safe out in these. Vampire Streets. It's Legend of 101 signing out. Peace.